This video will show you how to make a glass impaled wound. What you'll need to do this is some dark red makeup, dark blue makeup, assorted brushes, some broken plastic pieces for glass, and some mortician's wax. Clean the skin using a little bit of rubbing alcohol. That will help the mortician's wax stick to the skin a little bit better. Roll the mortician's wax into the shape that you want to create uh, for the wound and then start to press it onto the skin. Feather the edges from the center of the wound out towards the uh, edges and start to blend it into the skin. Use a flat bladed tool to feather the edges and blend them a little bit more uh, evenly around the wound so that there's no hard edges. Scribe a line down the middle of the mortician's wax to create the wound. Go back and forth over the line a few times to ensure that it's fairly deep in the wax. And also vary the width of the wound by moving the tool back and forth. Dust on some powdered foundation makeup over the mortician's wax to take away some of its tackiness. Then use a foam pad with flesh tone makeup and add it to the mortician's wax to help it start to blend into the rest of the skin. To add depth and uh, a little bit more of a realistic look to it, use some dark red makeup and start dabbing it around the edges of the wound. Use a darker red and darker purple and just keep dabbing it around the edges right where the wax meets the skin. Use a fine brush to work blood into the cut. Don't try filling the cut all at once. Instead, keep adding blood a little at a time. Then keep adding blood until it begins to ooze out of the cut and it's just beginning to run a little bit. Next, use a coarse sponge with a small amount of blood on it and gently tap around the wound a few times. This will create a light blood spatter look. Now comes the cool part, adding glass to the cut. For this effect, we're using broken plastic from an old CD case. That plastic is brittle and easy to crack. Uh, just take a CD case and smack it with a hammer a few times and you'll get realistic looking glass that has pointed edges but aren't sharp enough to really hurt anyone. The mortician's wax is tacky and pliable enough to hold the plastic pieces in shape. Add a variety of shapes and sizes to create a realistic look. Press the plastic pieces into the wax and try not to overwork it. If a piece doesn't want to stay in place, you can press the wax together a little bit to hold it better. But if you do this, be careful that you don't distort the wound too much. And there you have it. A nasty looking cut caused by broken glass.